and you dig down in here, I mean, we've still got huge flowers coming on. All right, guys, so I thought I was kind of done with the update on the zucchini plant and our little uh, urine slash wood ash experimentation. But just when I think I'm done with these things, I'm finding out that, uh, you know, I'm completely wrong. I come back out here and this plant every almost like a daily basis is just like, twice the size it was the day before. Well, maybe not twice the size, but it sure seems like it. I mean, this thing is growing out of control. And between the urine and the wood ash, I'm gonna show you again here just how we're doing. I actually quit urinating on this plant about, maybe it was like three weeks ago when it started really producing and maybe even four weeks ago, hard to remember exactly, but I've just gone out there maybe once a week and just watered it really well. I'm not even sure it needs that in the wood chips, but this thing is growing out of control and doing great. And you're gonna be able to see it again in comparison to the other plants that we really didn't do much with at all. And some of them we didn't do anything with. So let's go take a look at this thing. I'm just super impressed with how well urine and wood ash works. It's simple, it's organic, you can't beat it. And while we're at it guys, I know there's a lot of you following these little videos about the hydrangea and wygella and the petunias as well. So I thought we'll just throw in a little quick update. So here's them hydrangeas. That's the one I showed you in the video before and it's been just blooming pink. The same one same bloom has been blooming for, geez, I don't know, a month. Whenever I posted that last video of uh, hydrangeas changing color. But uh, these things are just doing fantastic. And these were the original hydrangea cuttings that we took a year ago that I showed you in that video. And I'll post a link. Um, I think it's up in that corner. Um, I'll post a link to that video. But uh, these are those original hydrangeas. So anybody who's uh, concerned with getting them through the winter or what you do with the rooted cuttings and will they make it, here you go. I mean, they're just doing fantastic. And then we've got the Wygella. I told you I was gonna have to take more cuttings. These things are just getting completely out of control. I could probably get literally 100 cuttings off of all these plants. These things are just, they're huge uh, for little rooted cuttings that were just taken last summer. They're already, you know, filling out one gallon pots and could be sold uh, wholesale. In fact, I may sell a bunch of these wholesale next year. Just take a bunch of cuttings. Thank you, Johnny. Just take a bunch of cuttings, sell all these guys uh, wholesale to a local nursery and keep on turning them over. And then we've got the Java Red Wigella and they're doing pretty good too. It's a smaller variety, so it doesn't grow quite as fast, but all right, let's, uh, let's show you those petunia cuttings that we did real quick and then we'll head out to that, uh, that zucchini plant. All right, so these guys, as you can see, are just growing like crazy, completely out of control here. Them little cuttings that we took are all down in here. And they are just, I mean, you can see, look at this. They are, these guys were just little cuttings, if you remember that video, and they're just spreading like crazy. This is going to take over the whole area. And on the other side, not quite as much sun. You can see they're not growing as fast, but they're still flowering and they're putting on lots of new growth. All right, guys, I wanted to get down in this clip and show you with me sitting in it how big these things actually really are. So, you know, don't tell me wood chips don't work. Don't tell me urine and wood ash doesn't work. These things are out of control. And I know zucchini tends to want to grow big, but if you've got zucchinis that you've planted and they're not doing well, you definitely need to try what we've been doing here. And if you haven't seen that, like I said, I'll put a link up in the corner here and you can go to that first video where we first started uh, fertilizing our zucchini plant. Let's take a look at this thing. Boy, Johnny's having fun today. All right, it's hard to get all of this in one shot. I really want you guys to see exactly what's going on. So the original, so there were four plants here. If you haven't seen that first video, there were four plants here. There was one planted here, one right next to it here, one back here in the back, and then this one over here, it, it was uh, doing, you know, the lease here. And you can see it's finally starting to do something. It's finally starting to pick up. Let me get my shadow out of there. It's finally starting to pick up. It's got a little flower on there and a few flowers, and it's gonna make a few zucchinis, but not doing too well. And that guy over there, doing somewhat okay. These two were planted in wood chips. These two I dug down 
uh, through the wood chips and plant them in the manure. And this one, like I said, I was urinating on and just straight urine, no dilution. Uh, and in the beginning, it started out maybe four days a week. And in the end, over about a month time, as I started getting through the weeks, it was two to three times a day, four days a week. And then I took at two different points, a handful of wood ash from my burn pile, nothing special, and just sprinkled it right around the base. But you can see, let's try to back up, get all this in one shot here. Look at the difference. I mean, look at this guy versus this guy here. This one on the end is the one that I'd done all the work with and really it wasn't much work. I just got out here and did my thing every once in a while and uh, put the wood ash on it. But you can see the difference in size. And like I said, it's getting hard to get this thing in the camera so you can see it, get everything together. And you can you can kind of delineate the, the smaller one here that I did a little bit more with, but not much versus this guy and I'm telling you there is no no uh, chemical fertilizers this was all straight organic fertilizer uh, it when all it was was urine and wood chips or I mean wood, urine and wood ash and I'm telling you guys I will never go back I just the only reason I'm doing this update is because I came out here I thought we were done with these updates I came out here uh, today and I just took a look at the plant and I thought I <laughs> I can't help but to film this for you guys. You've been following along. You've been just so faithful in watching these videos. And thank you so much for that. We're having a lot of fun here doing this. But I owe it to you guys to show you what's going on with these plants. You can enjoy what I'm enjoying and looking at here as we go through this. But these leaves are just they're just gigantic i mean they're it's almost like a dinosaur plant and you can see them you can see the size of these leaves in comparison to that smaller one over here on the side and then even smaller one back here uh i mean eventually they pick up but this is no fertilizer this is nothing right here on this guy and you dig down in here i mean we've still got huge flowers coming on i mean look at this guy in comparison to my hand look at the size of that guy and then zucchinis are really starting to come on nice i mean what do we have here we got like one two three four there's a huge one five six seven there look they're everywhere there's a huge one down in there i'm gonna have to pick this guy and my wife actually came out and picked one yesterday but uh and the new growth look at this the new growth just keeps coming. Let's see if we can get a shot of the stalk here. There's the main stalk. And it just keeps coming. Just keeps putting on new growth. It's just, this guy's unstoppable. It's gonna take over. It's gonna move into the house if I'm not careful. <laughs> but anyway, out of control. I had to show you guys that. I thought you would like to see it. Who knows where we can go from here. Maybe this thing will end up on the moon. I don't know. but. We're having a lot of fun with it, and I think there is definitely going to be some zucchini bread in our future. Let's run over and take a look at the garden real quick. It's been a week and a half or so since I took that last shot and posted it for you guys. Man, look at this, guys. It's just growing out of control. This garden is crazy. I'm having so much fun with this. I wish I would have started this way 10 years ago. You know, like I said before, coming from a guy who is, uh, you know, a, a plant propagator of landscape plants, you know, and it takes a lot of time for them to actually get roots and then grow. And then coming over to the vegetable gardening world, this is so much fun. These plants, these plants grow so fast and are so abundant. I mean, we've got tons of peas on these guys, tons of green beans. Look at the pickle the pickle plants the cucumbers the pickling cukes over here i mean just taking over tomatoes tons of tomatoes chickens <laughs> we've got just oh my lord i'm just amazed at the produce and i'm telling you it, it, this is working this is working fantastic this fall when everything dies back we're going to let them chickens into here and just have a heyday and they're going to do all the work for us but you cannot tell me the wood chip method doesn't work. And now I know that doesn't have wood chips, chips in that garden, but uh, now that they're starting to break down more and these roots are finding soil, look at these carrots. It's just, it's just amazing. I'm completely amazed. Oh, and let's, let's walk over and take a look at uh, Shelly's cauliflower. Look at this stuff, guys. 
huge heads of cauliflower and the leaves let me get my hand up against this look at the size of these leaves and now these guys are a little different we didn't actually do anything other than i think i put down a very very small amount of organic fertilizer in the spring uh but not much not really as much as i probably should have and once these guys found soil they're taking off and i attribute it to the fact that we've got the wood chips down and they're just keeping the soil moist we're not really hardly doing any watering at all in this garden occasionally i'll walk out and i'll just water a little bit over these guys just to moisten the wood chips a little but that's it and they're just growing out of control all right so i know this got a little carried away with all the updates that i did here but I, my main purpose in this was to show you guys that zucchini plant and show you how well urine and wood ash was working on that thing and you guys have been so so diligently following this i i thought i ha i owe it to you guys i have to show you the update so this thing just keeps growing out of control i don't know how far it's going to go but we're having a lot of fun it just shows you like i said wood chips and urine it's free it works beautifully it's completely organic and I mean, you, you just can't beat the stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed all these updates. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with all this around here. It's summertime. It's the perfect growing season for everything that we've got going on here. Uh, we'll be heading into rhododendron propagation season here real soon. So I'm going to be ramping that up pretty quick. I'll show you some videos of all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Follow along here. Uh, until the next video, have an awesome week. I'll see you guys later.